Lance Elgiller. Whatever this was, it cost $400. No way. Hey, give me that. Come here, come here, come here. Money. No way, is that real? Well guys, I'm in a super happy but nervous, excited mood at the same time. We just dropped a lot of money in the storage unit, the most I've spent on one in quite a long time, but there was nothing going on for the next week, so I couldn't leave you guys with no content. We had to buy one. It looks all right, but we paid a lot for it. Let's get on the road, let's get over there, and let's see if we made a good investment. We're gonna miss all you guys. I hope you're going towards a good cause. I really am gonna miss looking at you. You're so pretty. <laughs> well, time to take some goodbye and let's see what we got. So here we are guys. We just arrived here at Public Storage and we're at our unit right here. It's a pretty big boy. It's a 12 by 14, which is a lot bigger than you know the normal ones we buy. We paid $810 plus fees. It's about 900 bucks for this one. So there better be something good in here because I don't usually drop that kind of money, but I was feeling it today. So you know what? Let's get in there. Let's see what we got. So as you can see, it's a pretty big unit. And from this side, you can see over here, there is a crap ton of boxes. And that's the real reason I wanted it. Like a lot of boxes. And you know, some hidden stuff under the blankets, either TVs or art, some more boxes and boxes and boxes and totes. You know the stuff we like, that kind of stuff. So I guess let's just pick one and pull one out. Yeah. Where do I start? Anywhere. Let's get this one. I'm like overwhelmed. I'm like spinning around in circles like a cartoon <laughs> trying to find one. Let's get the one on the ground. Cause I'm lazy. Let's see what we got. This thing. Ooh, I like this. You see what that says? 22 cal. How do I get in here? It's probably a cleaning kit, but I'm still going to check. Yep. But maybe that means it's in here somewhere. Maybe. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. Let's see what's in this number one box. What is this kind of stuff? This is get out icon airbrush system Ooh. it definitely has something in it it's not empty oh it's there look little airbrush and everything huh hmm. i don't think i found anything like that before i don't know if that's a good find or a cheap find no idea this might be paint stuff to oh, wait. with it is it for makeup it might be it said luminous on it right yeah luminous so it might be a makeup thing check that out spray on makeup is that a thing women out there I don't know. I think, like, I think people can spray <laughs> on foundation if I'm not mistaken. All right. Let's check the suit jacket really quick. Vittorio. I'm bad at names. I'm bad at pronouncing stuff. But I'm not seeing anything in these pockets or feeling anything quite yet. There's the bottom of the suit. Here's a bag. Let's see what's in this bag. Well, Ooh. is that a vest? That's a vest. Oh, yeah. look at this. <laughs> I'm really liking this first box. You know what? I'm having a good feeling about it. This is a tactical vest. It's exactly what this is. Sure there's nothing here. on the back. Look on the back. Did I see something wrong? No, it usually goes oh, here. I Look. think I saw this. Oh. Well, this is where like the police or security thing would go usually. That is definitely a tactical vest. Nightstick or baton thing. Hmm. Gun here. Flashlight. It looks brand new too. <sighs> We're going to find one in here. <laughs> We're going to find one in here. What's this? Looks like some medical right. stuff, doesn't that it? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah, this is my this is the machine right here. Check that out. Yeah, CPAP. CPAP machine. What do those go for? I wonder. No, I can't idea. imagine they're cheap. Everything medical. You know how we is. We create it for two bucks and then sell it to you for two thousand because that's how the medical system in the United States works. Um, that. This looks like paperwork. Ooh, what's that? Ultra light. Ultra light. How about ultra gun? <laughs> oh, it's like a soldering gun or something. That's what this is. Okay, this looks like a blood pressure machine. Yeah, I think that's a yeah. blood pressure thing. And for some reason, this is in it. This is for when they start screaming. It's too tight. <laughs> Shut up. And they can stop screaming. Maybe. I don't know. And this looks oh, like. It's open the bottom. Oh, great. Open At least we got most of it out. 
Is this what goes at the bottom of a car? This is prescription stuff. That goes with the medication. Anything else interesting in this bag? Is that a drill charger? Maybe we need to find the drill. I'm seeing paperwork, paperwork, junk and paperwork. Wash and wax for that. Maybe we'll use it on a truck. Other than that, it's all papers. Not much in value, but you know what? It good clues. That means there might be something really good in the back of that unit. Now I'm gonna take out, ooh, this one's heavier. This box here. Come on, come on, come on. You think it'll stay on top of it? Mm, enough. All right, let's see. Hey. Ooh, I see a lamp. Okay. Ooh, that's in a second, hold on. I see a lamp, a hot <laughs> lamp. All right, what's this? <laughs> Oh, it's Craftsman. Oh, okay. There's no drill in it, but it sounds oh, like it has bits. Okay. No, no bits. Yeah, screws. Here's one bit, actually. One bit. All right, but now we found the charger for the drill and the case for the drill. Now we just need the actual thing. So there's the lamp, actually. That could be worth a couple bucks for sure. Set that aside. Don't fall. I think the shades are cool. Okay, I think you're right. This is like a car vacuum or handheld vacuum. I guess you can use it for the house if you want, but we need that even... for our car now. Yeah, no joke. <laughs> or maybe this? our stairs. Yeah, that's definitely true because Dexter. <laughs> he's a hairy cat. What do you think this is? Oh, these are all tools. Look, yep. wrench, screwdriver, pliers, things like that. So those are definite easy sales at the yard sale. Let's see what else we got. <laughs> Pictures, which we'll send back. There's kids behind us saying they can't hear me they can't hear me but we can <laughs> let's see what's in here <laughs> let me get them on video no please don't <laughs> this is somebody's bible it won't be a good image if we turn around and start recording somebody's kid yeah i know <laughs> true good uh, talk good talk <laughs> this is that this is that that was the right thing invicta what is, brain? what is invicta watches i thought oh oh i don't or know invicta limited edition there's no way on the watch Oh, it was, was wasn't that? it? This Holy dirty crap. Box. I imagine that was very Whoa. expensive. Why is it dirty like that? Who knows how long this stuff has been in here. Like those big units, I always assume they've been in here for a long time. I'm seeing paperwork. Paperwork. Ooh. Oh, perfect. Uh-oh. Think it works? No. Don't hit the camera. <laughs> Well, it works. We found some type of gun, right? Let's see what's in this little box right here. This looks like one of the bathroom boxes. Every unit's got like two or three. It's a staple. Are these actually glasses? No. What is that? A lollipop, tape, and a piece of sticky metal from the lollipop. Oh. Joy. Is that what you keep in your glasses container? Yeah. That's what I keep in mine. Yeah, I'm not gonna go through this. You see this? It is, look. Should go through it, maybe. It's definitely what that is. Another airbrush here. Hmm. That looks like bobby pins and thread. Let's see if we're seeing anything else. The rest of it, I think, is actual just bathroom stuff, lotions, perfumes, and cream. So, yeah, let's just close this one out. Not let's get this one now. Oops. What was that? Switched up the angle a little bit. Let's see how it is in here, or what's in here. Uh, oh, <laughs> half a head, and that side's a little concave. This thing represents a majority of people in the world. You know why? It's head tallow, I'm just saying. Uh, a teddy bear, what brand teddy bear though? Harvest Moon? I don't mean nothing to me. There's a jump rope. All right. Do it. Uh. Yeah. All right, you ready? Unless I'm like <laughs> jumping three feet in the air, I don't think it's gonna quite happen that way. But this blanket smells like straight dogs. I'm pretty sure this is the one the dog slept on. So everything else in there though, it's just clothes and a blanket. Ooh. You knocked that down from up on the truck. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna bring this white box up here because it's got like a lot of phone numbers written on it. Maybe that means it's got some interesting stuff in it. Like, I don't know, their personal stash of million dollars. Open. Why can't I ever find tape this strong? If I go out and buy tape, if I put the whole roll on it, like a strong breeze of wind would knock it off. But in a storage unit, <laughs> it's next to unstoppable. These look like rugs. bathroom rugs. 
Let's get these out. Yeah, there's a lot of That's them. That's what the box says, but I was hoping there would be other stuff mixed in there. Um, like well. Like two extension cords or power strips. There's a pa two power strips, but other than that, <laughs> all the way down is bathroom rod. How many do you need? Like, how many bathrooms do you have in your house? Honestly, you have like a 10 bathroom house or something? If you do, that means there's probably nicer stuff in there, but that's legit 10 plus bathroom rugs. All right, let's bring this up here because the case in here looks very interesting. So check this out. This is just a hamper, but what is this? What is that? Ambico? Ambico. Which is, oh yes, this is what I'm hoping for. It's camera stuff, but how old are camera stuff? That's the question. You know how technology works. It dies out pretty fast. Let's see if I see a quality on this. 32 times optical zoom. It doesn't say whether it records, you know, 720, 1080, or 4K or anything, but it's got a lens cap and everything. It's got the battery, so let's hope it's good. Ooh, that looks like a nice one. That's heavy duty. This one's heavy and it's got a lens on it already, which is nice. But this is a, let's see, Maxim 550 SI Minolta. Music on the highway. Shh. Nobody else wants to hear it. That, let's see if there's a name on this one too. This is a Panasonic Mini DV 32 times optical zoom. And I said this one already. So two cameras. And this one's got a camera, a lens cap too. It just fell off. So that's on there too. Looks like we have like to record on. That's probably a bad sign. It means it's pretty old. But wires to it. Uh, nothing. This side's closed. And it's another one of these tapes to record to. And it looks like an extra battery. So that's kind of a cool thing right on the top. Let's see what else is in here though. Like this. I see change. More change. <laughs> All right, let's see actually. It's, wow, that's just a bag of junk, isn't it? You want the lips? Mwah. Yeah, that's just a bag of junk. That. What's in here? What is that supposed to be? A flexible hose. Flex it's, hose. It's in there. That sounds really funny. <laughs> I remember seeing like the paid programmer for that. Yeah, flexible. We have some flexible hose in there. Or a flexible hose, not some flexible hose. A flexible hose. <laughs> this is, look, a $10 Christmas ornament rock thingy that will, yeah, that. It's a necklace. Look at the back. You make it though. A precious gift for any occasion. Open pearl oyster container. Remove oyster. Open oyster with included tool. Pearl. Place pearl into pendant. Show hey, it off. I got what's good All here. Right. Bam. Lasagna, Chef Boardy. It's actually in there. I always got to shake cans now because you don't know. And this is a towel. That's all that's in there. Here's a boot. What kind? Um, Max Collector. Never heard of him. There's an umbrella. There's another boot. There's some hair products in here. But other than that, the bottom of it looks like just clothes and a light. You're not seeing nothing else in there. Getting this big heavy box out of here. Sorry Ugh. about any car traffic. There's literally a road right there. Yeah, it's not a very good placement. That's the only problem usually with the big units. They're always outdoor units. And we're also affected by this guy getting dark quick. So let's hope we can get through a good amount of it. Open up, you. All right. Let's see. This looks like very old computer stuff. Well, this is Streamfast. All right. Whatever it is, it's Steam in there. Fast. Oh, Steam. Did I read that? That's my tech side. <laughs> I just expected it to say stream. <laughs> but that's in there. And, of course. The jewelry? That's all jewelry. More jewelry! Hold on, let's see. Hold on now, hold on, hold on, what's in this? Whatever this was, it cost $400. No way, really? Whoa. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that was actually hilarious. <laughs> this isn't 10 karat gold. <laughs> that was oh, pretty funny. It felt so heavy too. I, was like so I hope sorry. I got your facial expression when you opened it. I hope it. it didn't. Well, that sucked, but. Here's some earrings. I wonder what it was 10K of that, like this thing? Black steam, stainless steel. This is a, I don't even know. It's not Rolex. 
That's how I look for watches, basically. Is it Rolex? No. Dang. That thing. <laughs> there's other expensive watches. Oh, I know, but there's only one Rolex. Here's some earrings in here that aren't marked. That 10K ring has to be somewhere. I'm not giving up on it yet. This is a Larix. I'm not... Mm. I'm gonna say what was in that box was a necklace or a bracelet. And now you think? Yeah, because it's not high enough to be a ring container. Let's see if there's anything that looks like that in here. The rest of it does look like just a bunch of costume jewelry. But obviously this is something we will check very thoroughly before we just lot it up or anything like that. So for the first look, it looks like costume jewelry. So let's set it aside. You know, I grabbed this box and I thought this looked like a jewelry box from inside the tape. And it's funny, it's a speaker and then there's actually jewelry in there. Kind of weird how that worked out, but okay. This looks like just paperwork. Paper, 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 paper. Not a fan of paper. That is a very old crappy speaker. These are some Nikes actually. They're not too out of shape. They look old. Yeah. Some Nikes. Let's see what's in this though. Probably based off there being more papers, this could actually be files, like it looks like. Yeah, bunch of paperwork mixed with a random bag of jewelry and some speakers. You just never know. Let's get this big boy right here. Let's see what we got. Ooh. Looks like home decor. No, that was not just there. Guys, I swear I didn't even set that like that. This what? was just like right here, look down. <laughs> it was just like that when I opened it, I swear. May your home be filled with dreams and love and endless blessing from above. Yard sale, 100%. So I got balls in this, which make... Dun, da, da, da. <laughs> okay, this is getting very inappropriate. That It was just there, okay? I had to make the joke. This thing, more home decor. Remote. There's a little frame. It has personal pictures in it, I can't show you. That's an eye help? Hmm. Are these Funkos? It looks like an old Funko, doesn't it? But I don't think it is. Is it plastic? It's plastic, but I don't think it is. Let's see what this is. Another personal frame. A weird looking pen, huh? Kind of strange looking. Let's scoot some of this stuff around if there's anything else. More balls. <laughs> I had to laugh, sorry. I'm immature. The back of a cell phone? This looks like a random lot here. Look at this. This just looks like a little bit of everything thrown into one giant bag. At least it is from the bottom, look. Yeah. But nothing particularly valuable looking. This looks like basically somebody's junk drawer that was quickly thrown away or put into storage. Um, let's see. America's watch. I think it's in there. Yes. The camera. Okay, you can't trust no boxes here. So one box <laughs> might say like used tampon and there's like thousand dollar gold bracelet in there. So you gotta check everything very particularly. But that. We're losing daylight fast. Look up here. It's getting dark very quick. I hate this five o'clock dark time. Let's go through this black gym bag. It's way heavier than I thought it was going to be. Ooh, yeah, it is. What do you think we have in here? Actually, side pockets first, right? Yeah. It's nothing. This side pocket, though, this is where it's at. Right here. Um, a shirt or a rag or something. I don't even know. Looks like maybe a rag for a baby. It's probably going to be a baby bag, isn't it? Yeah. But... Don't say that. Don't say it. I think I'm going to need no. to pull the light out after this bag. Yeah, it's starting to get dark fast. This is like a blood pressure thing. Or not blood pressure. Um, blood sugar thingy. These. Look at all this mail. Someone just kept all their mail. I hate when people do that. And I buy their storage. So that's all paper. These look like shoes, though. These probably like yard sale shoes though. I'm assuming nothing too expensive. Brash is the brand. Never heard of it. Me neither. Well, I never heard of Salvador Ferragamo when I find it either. So I'm not going to use that in my judgment that I never heard yeah. of it. Um, wow. That's why it's heavy. This is a whole thing of different like women's dress shoes and things like that. So that's literally all that's in the entire bag. Can you see me? 
No, you can't, but boom, the light. Now you can, can't you? All right, so first thing first. Oh, well, I was about to say this box, look at the price tag it had on the side or the retailer price. 1400 250 like Ooh. almost two grand, but that's empty. What was it supposed to be? Light went out. It died that fast? <laughs> what the freak? All right, well, this is supposed to be a what? I don't even know. Home uh, care. Home care system. A vacuum? Kirby? Don't they make vacuums? I think so. Something like that. Yeah, so that's what it was supposed to be. Let's hope it's in there somewhere and we get lucky like that. Can you still see me enough? It's bad. Yeah. Hold on a second. Trying to improvise here. It has gotten pretty dark, so our unit's over there. And we brought the box over here because, well, this thing's here. Maybe it'll work? Let's see. Let's see what we got. Ooh, I see an open jar of Vaseline. What do you think's in here, though? Mm, black bag. Open it! Never hide nothing good. Oh, another bag in the bag. Look. <gasps> Ooh. I know what these are. Can I put it right here? Yeah. Does that say what I think it is? Please do. Yeah, hey. it is. Look at this beautiful. These what are nine millimeter Lugers. Shh, I don't want to talk too loud. I don't know if we're supposed to be keeping them or not. Mm. Right. Box. Heck yeah. The hollow point? Or? I don't think so. It doesn't say it. No, FMJ. But hey, I will take that gladly because these are for me. These are not being sold. What are these? Remington. These are 380s. They're 380s. Nice. We have a 380. I saw a little dip in the front. Are they hollow points? No. That's weird. Wait. Yeah, they are. Yeah, okay. <laughs> hollow points. So hey. 9 and 380. We keep finding everything that's leading me to believe one thing is going to be somewhere in this unit. So that, ooh, some 12 gauge shells. I got two shotguns actually, a 12 and a 20. So I will gladly take it. This is the one kind of ammo you still can, still can find everywhere though. So that's not that expensive. We got that. Let's keep going. I like you that so far. Ooh, what's this? Ooh, a bag. Anything else in here? Let's see what's in this little thing. Let's take it out here, can we? A couple lighters. Keep those for the candles. Ooh, another lighter. And a watch. Ooh, now that might be silver. That looks like one of those turquoise bracelets, doesn't it? Yeah. Silver. They're usually silver. Let's see. Base metal, basil, stainless steel back. I don't think it's gonna be silver. If it is, it's probably just plated. So it'll probably go out there costume jewelry lot, unfortunately, but still kind of cool. Liking this box. Besides this, let's get that out. Ooh. This is the National Equal Opportunity something. Yeah. Check that purse out. Yeah, what is this? Ooh, it's heavy. Ooh. Ooh. Let's see. That is a lady. Baby fat. That is? Oh baby, I can see it in this light. Leaning it down, not so much. Come on. Ah, uh, hoping it wouldn't be papers, but looking like it's papers all the way through, unfortunately. So that kind of sucks, but that purse could be worse. I think it looks nice. Personal picture. And wow, what's in this? Hey look, there's a Bluetooth headset. Are they in there? Feels like it is. Let me make sure there's nothing else in here. No. These are super light, so you don't really know. Remember we had these. Yeah. Not in there, unfortunately. But you know what? I'm not complaining about this box at all because guess what I got? 12 gauge, 380, and 9. I'll take all of it. Got the next box over. Rip open the tape. Ugh. Let's see what we got. We have a horn of shoes. All right. But these are Nike boots. These are expensive. Look at the bottoms too. Nice. These are in good shape. That's a good find. Here's both of these. Yeah, there's the other one right there. Nice pair of Nike boots in good shape. What's this? <sighs> these are what all the negative commenter people are right here. I found them in a box. There they are in the flesh. Oh, they're in there too. <laughs> what if this guy is the one that talks trash about me? Here's the one that talks trash about you. And they're even still in their bag. How <laughs> convenient. All right. Let's see some air, some air force. Ooh, look at these. Those are nice. I like red, so. What size? 
Um, where's it at? Eight and a half. Yeah. <laughs> little bit maybe. too big. Maybe. maybe. I have one pair of eight and a half. <laughs> maybe. You never know. Tends to be one and a half. But that is a good sign for me because maybe there's shoes that are about the same size. Empty. What's in here? Why is this pair so special to get a bag? Whoa. Bro. Oh. These are Nike Zooms. They're in good shape too. Look at those bottoms. Yep. Look at the white on it. I mean, they might not have ever been worn. That's might be why they're in the bag. <laughs> um, the rest of it though looks like, you know, just cheap yard sale shoes. A couple bucks here, a couple bucks there. That's all the rest of the video. Those pairs of shoes right there, that's a money find. All right, so brought the next box over to the light. And what got in here? Ooh, look at those right on the top. So these are a little beat, but look at the side. What is that? Oh, hmm. back here. Yeah. I don't know. Never seen those on shoes before, but they're the worst condition so far out of all the shoes we found. Let's see what this is. This is a cluster of wires. Nothing but wires. Every unit. Every unit. Cotton balls, all the rest of it looks like it's gonna be bathroom. But what's that? Makeup. Might be all right. Um, let's see. Hey, give me that. Come here. Come here. Come here. Money. No way. Is that real? Ah! Oh! That's <laughs> Come legit, on. though. Look at that. That looks so legit. Oh, I that thought we had 100 heart. out of our nine back. Yeah, that just broke my heart. Dang it. Light bulb. Um, well, what are these? Two things here. This is, it's actually in there. It's an LED light bulb. It's got a couple pennies in there with it. Oh, I like it's a broken. Right. It looks like it's from five below. Yeah. So, probably not much value there. What's this? Okay, this is where the shady stuff went, huh? Oh no, look. The shady stuff. <laughs> I didn't even mean for it to bake like that, but you know what? <laughs> it came out right. Are they in there? Like, how many light bulbs are in there? If it is, it's like not, not very many because it's very light. The light bulbs are very light, so. And it's full. Oh, cool. <laughs> Save us a little money. Other than that, there's some Irish spring soap in there. Good stuff. I'm not seeing too much else. Oh, I've seen this. Hampton, what? Corporation? Uh huh. Hampton. Ooh. Open, open. What do you think this is? Um, a watch. Uh, I think it was one though. <laughs> yeah. Okay, somewhere in this unit, there's gonna be like a horde of all these watches. We're, they just kept the boxes in here. It's coming somewhere. I don't know where yet, but we're gonna find it. All right, nothing, nothing, nothing. Air freshener, cat collar, and just a bunch of random bathroom stuff. So, yeah. All right, so we're playing with the angle again. I think we got the light looking even better, don't we? Yes, we do. <laughs> all right, let's see what's in this one. Ew. I got something for you. A plug. Ew, it's dirty. Mm. Stop. Stop. Back against the wall. <laughs> Sorry, I had to. Mean. What is this? A ball. Thank you. A golden ball. Uh, I already got some. Um, George Foreman here. That's actually in there. It's like five bucks. This thing for the bathroom. No. A couple bucks. What is it? I think this thing sits on the carpet and you roll your chair. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> what is that? Whoa. Cover target game. Whoa. That's what the gun goes. That's the gun we had. Right there. Look at you making connections. And look, that's in there. Oh, I hope that works. It's kind of cool. That would actually be really fun. We're going to have to try that. Let's see. Shredded paper. Okay. Um, paper. Careful. Broken glass. broken glass. Yeah. Is that jewelry? It's jewelry. Jewelry. Whoa. Brooches. I don't even know what a brooch is. Pins. They go on your 
clothes. Oh, okay. Any but this one's marked or something. Hold on. I think it's just a brand now. Look at this little toy soldier. My toy soldier. Huh. If it's gold, this could be some money here too, but we won't really know until we get it home. Let's, how do you clip it? There you go. Clipped up. Keys out the way. Somebody's graduation hat. What else is in this box? Somebody's lottery bundle thing. This is a Blu-ray in the back. The last stock. And this is like a cast. And yeah, there's a lot of paper in here too. So I'm not seeing too much in this box. I think we're gonna go through one more. Then we're gonna have to call it quits because we gotta go home. We literally have a yard sale tomorrow morning. We haven't even started setting up yet or we don't have signs out. <laughs> Hustle never stops. Let's get into this last box for today now. Let me say that again. We've gone through maybe 10% of that unit. There's at least 50 to 60 more boxes in there. Remember, the front's usually the junk. The back's usually the gold mine. And let's see what's in here. Well, this is wrapped up very well. How's this? This is a mirror. Mirror? Yeah, how you doing? By the way, the ones we found out of the last unit we put up today, we already sold one for 40 bucks, so yep. they were pretty quick. Let's see what this thing is. Um, it's interesting how much prices varied. And we found it on Wayfair for like 160, and then Target was like 120, and then Walmart was 60. Yeah. We're like, uh. <laughs> oh, it's a vase, but it's broken. Yeah. Dang it. Yeah, it's genuine porcelain too, says the thing, but broken. So. Yeah. About. But other than that, I'm not seeing too much in here. Is that a knife? Come come here. If so, we need to keep it in the truck. Ooh, we got a nice knife. Look at that. Hmm. It's kind of dirty, but... It'll it'll do. It's sharp enough to get for what we need it yeah. for. Keep Where's it in the truck. Close at? It doesn't have a little thingy here to push it in and close. Right here? Yeah. All right. That. This also has <clears throat> another knife, like a tire gauge, and one of those things that spray. Good smelling stuff. <laughs> also called button? an air freshener. This... Smell detector and hmm, I don't know. I'm telling you, they got a jewelry box in this unit somewhere. We're gonna Another find it. Watch in there. That's a watch box. Yeah, they have a jewelry box somewhere. But yeah, other than that, that's all that's in here. So we're gonna pile this stuff up and go home and go through and do like a little mini recap instead of doing one giant one once we finish this unit because that's gonna take us a long time. So let's get it home and do a little mini recap. I'm in such a good mood right now, so we don't usually record when we're going through stuff in here, but in a pill bottle. Check out what I just found. 14 karat gold necklace. Ooh, 14 karat gold in a pill bottle. <laughs> that is why you check every little thing you can. That is in crazy. I say in scrap, that's probably what, three to $400 at least just there. That is crazy and I'm just, that's like, that could be half the money for the unit potentially or close to it in my hand. That's why you check everything. Oh, that just made my night. Let's just keep going and see what else we can pull out of here before we even do the recap. This was just, I had to record it. It's not done yet, guys. Remember this little thing right here? We're just going through all of it, almost all of its costume jewelry, but this little ring right here, I doubt you can zoom up on it that far well, but that is 10 karat gold. Alrighty, 14K gold and 10K gold. Just remember, we're less than 10% of the way through this unit, and I think we could already have really close to our money back just in fines and 10% of it. If that's the case and it keeps up like that, this unit is a gold mine, literally. All right, so let's do kind of a recap. Other than the two awesome things I showed you, golden necklace and golden ring right here. Boom. Other than the gold, there wasn't really nothing you didn't see on camera. We did look some stuff up. The Nike boots are a little more expensive than I thought. I thought around 40, they're like $65. The red or the zooms were like 50 bucks. The two pairs of Air Forces or were they Air Forces? Or airs, yeah, whatever. They're like 30, 40 bucks a piece too. So I mean, just in the shoes, it's like 150 bucks. The one camera that had the lens on it was like 100 bucks. So that's like 250 bucks right there. The necklace is probably, I'm guessing around 350 bucks based on weights. I mean, right there at 600 bucks, the ring, the airbrushes, we're talking $1,700 already. We've gone through maybe 10% of the unit. It was a $900 unit. I think it was a good investment. If it continues like this, like I said, say we can get 700 bucks 10 times, that's seven grand or 900 bucks. I'll take that any day of the week. And don't forget, we're just at the front of the unit. The back stuff, that's the best stuff. So let's keep on going. Next time, we are having a yard sale tomorrow. As you can see, 
All this stuff behind us needs to go tomorrow. A lot of this stuff from this unit and past units is going tomorrow. But after that, we're going to be right back in that unit digging for more treasure. So if you enjoyed it, leave us a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. And until next time, peace out.